guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. And so today I wanna to talk about Paradise Square, the big musical epic that closed due to lawsuits and financial woes. Okay, this is a shame. Um, Garth Drabinsky, a big Canadian producer who has always had scandal and allegations swirling around him. I mean, several years ago, he served time, uh, actually seven years for fraud and forgery. Um, this was supposed to be his big Broadway comeback. And he's had success with like Fosse and Ragtime. And people thought, oh, he's going to be on his best behavior. You know, people are going to watch after him and there's going to be guardrails on. Not so much. Um, but there are problems in the beginning with pre-production in this. Um, there was already allegations of him cutting corners and cutting costs to the detriment of his cast and crew. People were getting hurt. and uh, but, but people wanted to forge on and say, yeah, we just want to make it to Broadway, you know, despite this toxic environment we're in. I mean, this is after the long COVID pandemic shutdown of Broadway for two years. People were very anxious to get back to work. So I guess they were trying to make the best of a really horrible situation. So it gets to Broadway and it doesn't meet the real critical acclaim it was hoping for, but it did garner 10 Tony nominations. And Joaquina Kalua Kango uh, got her Tony for best performance. And then she performed at the Tonys, her song, Let It Burn, to which she received a huge standing ovation for. She was phenomenal performing on the Tonys. And so they thought, oh great, you know, ticket sales are gonna spike and the show's gonna finally get, you know, it's mojo going, and it didn't. Um, so then things started to come out about the show. Um, allegations about bullying and mismanagement and, you know, sort of the real truth going on off stage, things that were happening sort of behind the scenes. And uh, Actors Equity Union stepped in and found out that actors are not getting paid and there's lost wages and other compensation that's due. And, so now lawsuits are flying and some have been settled, some not. Uh, but to date, where we are now is that between cast and crew, like over $350,000 are due. That's where we are now. And um, so that's a lot of money, especially when it's owed to you, you know. So a couple of things that have come out of it is drabinsky has been put on the no work list, which is huge. Maybe that should have happened earlier, considering that there's been allegations made prior to this, uh, you know, from other performers and other shows. Um, but, you know, sometimes that's hindsight. Um, and also from the United Scenic Artists, uh, in one of their lawsuits, uh, it's interesting to note that they put in that if they don't settle in six months, they get the rights to this show, which could be interesting um, because there has been talk of that the show might make international productions or go on tour. And so, you know, that's smart. They might be able to recoup their costs from other productions of this. That's one way of getting their money. If they can get producers and investors, you know, to make a go of this, that would be great because, you know, it's a shame that these actors have put their heart and soul and passion into this project and then to not get paid anytime, you know, somebody gets shafted out of their wages. That's a shame. But, you know, theater is such a gamble. It's a roll of the dice. And you don't always have the luxury of saying, oh, you know, I'm going to work with this producer and not this producer or this director and not that person. I mean, it's it's really hard in this business. When you're a starving actor, you just want the work. And you kind of go where the work is. And you don't always know how it's going to turn out. So, and that happens not just on Broadway, but, you know, down to the smallest company in regional theater. And so, you just never know. You just never know. I mean, that's, that's the way of theater. But... I hope the best for these actors, you know, I wish them well. I hope they're already working or get work soon. And I hope they get these back wages and compensation that's certainly owed to them. Um, you know, it may take months, it may take years in the courts, um, but hopefully there'll be settlement soon and they'll get what's rightfully owed to them. But nothing short of drama and theater, I'll tell you that. All right, uh, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.